The N2 highway near Zingwazi in KwaZulu-Natal has been closed. This following quite a deadly crash this morning. Two people died when three trucks collided. But for more details, I'm now joined by Samantha Mayrick from IPSS Medical Rescue. Samantha, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. Uh, perhaps uh, tell us what exactly happened with this crash. What caused it? At about 5.30 this morning, we re received reports of a head-on collision. It was only on arrival that we discovered that there was actually a third vehicle involved. At this time, it is unclear what did happen, uh, which, you know, will be, you know, the cause of an investigation. Uh, but it does appear that one truck was rear-ended, which resulted in the head-on collision with the third truck. Mm. I mean, we know that also there were fatalities, others injured. At this point, can you account how many we're talking of here, Samantha? Um, at this time, the total number of injured is unclear. Two people were fatally injured. They were traveling on the back of the truck that was rear-ended. The driver and passengers of that truck uh, were lucky to escape with minor injuries. The driver of one of the vehicles, he sustained moderate injuries and was transported to hospital. And then the driver and two of his passengers were severely entrapped in one of the trucks and um, sustained critical injuries with the driver of that truck having to be airlifted to hospital. Mm. I think another concerning uh, matter in this regard, Samantha, is the fact that one of the trucks was looted. Uh, please just tell us what exactly happened there in terms of the looting taking place and also what exactly was taken. Um, on one of the trucks, they were carrying alcohol, which was being looted from the vehicle. Uh, luckily, law enforcement and emergency services were able to chase off m many of the looters, and we subsequently closed the road, allowing emergency services to um, extricate the passengers from the vehicle safely. Mm. And has this uh, caused any traffic? Has it uh, caused for you know some of the drivers and motorists to be redirected? Yes, at this time, the N2 is still closed uh, due to the investigation that is taking place and recovery and clearing of the scene. Uh, motorists are being diverted onto the R102 by the KDM and the traffic department. Yeah. Uh, do you know at this stage when we can expect the N2 then to be open once again? At this stage, no, we don't have any indication as to how long this is going to take, but we do expect it to be at least a few more hours before it is completely open again. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Samantha, for speaking to us at this time. Of course, at the back of this uh, tragic incident that took place in the early hours of this morning, a smaller truck with another truck, uh, of course, colliding, causing fatalities uh, as well as other injuries. We understand simultaneously uh, there were some people who came to loot what uh, was alcohol from one of the trucks. But we know at the stage that the N2 uh, is still, of course, a closed. Please, motorists who usually, uh, under normal circumstances, use the route, try and find alternative routes uh, until, of course, we get word as to when exactly uh, the N2 will, of course, uh, be reopened. Once again, motorists encouraged to please reduce speed, drive cautiously on the roads and uh, expect delays in the interim, as mentioned before, with regards uh, to these delays. But at the heart of this uh, is importantly sending our condolences to the families, the friends, the loved ones of those who unfortunately perished in that tragic accident.